welcome back to my channel and yes I have not moved since I filmed my last video but I wanted to break this up into few parts so you weren't sitting there watching me ramble on about new makeup that I had bought. Anyway, I'm not going to waste time with a long intro. If you guys want to see haul part one and part two, I will link it up in the cards for you guys to check out. And let's get back into it. So I did buy this guy mostly because I wanted to compare it with the new Tutti Fruity Razzle Dazzle Berry Eyeshadow Palette. I thought, you know what, small palettes are really kind of making their rounds in the beauty community and so I picked up this one as well in case you guys didn't know I have this palette and then I actually like this palette so much that I bought the more neutral one that like the pineapple one and yeah I really like it it does have a very strong scent so if you're sensitive to smell you might want to stay away from this one it might give you a little bit of a headache because it's a very very strong scent and it definitely lingers on your eyes too before it goes away and I don't want to give everything away because I do want to review for you guys and then let me show you oh fuck oh almost thought I broke it out this is the aphrodisiac right yeah aphrodisiac by urban decay and this one has six shades I I don't know I feel like I feel like I like the shades in the tutti fruity better this one is definitely more neutral but I've just been hearing such good things about urban decay's new formula so I was really really curious to pick both of these up and kind of do a little battle so we'll see I haven't broken into this one at all so excited to compare these two but I know I love the 2D fruity one for sure so it's gonna have a hard time competing I think with the Too Faced uh, more palettes it's kind of gonna be the palette video I think I did buy the Ace Beauté bolt that they did it's like a paradise collection so I was really excited when Angelica talked about this because I do own their original palette the quintessential palette and I really liked it. I did like a first impressions video on it and then I never talked about it because I didn't really hear anyone talking about Ace Beauté except I think the people that maybe received it in PR. So I wanted to, you know, try it out, bought it and then I never used it on my channel again. And then I had, I guess I must have unfollowed them on Instagram or anything, but I wasn't keeping up with the brand. And then when Angelica talked about them coming out with a vault, I was like, holy shit. And these looked so beautiful that of course, I couldn't even decide like I was in a freaking panic so I was just like waiting because as soon as I find out there's gonna be a launch I'm just like waiting for the day of the launch and this one is probably my favorite color story is a pink palette because I'm so into berries I know everyone I haven't used the purple one yet as you can see was like oh my gosh if you want a purple palette get this one not the Norena palette and then this is the one that everyone also said kind of looked like the Jaclyn Hill one that was like the red siren or sea siren or something that she had so i've used two of these palettes and so far honestly i'm not like hugely impressed which is why i haven't like rushed to make a review video some of the shades actually feel very crumbly i haven't watched anyone else's reviews either on these but i feel like i paid a little too much money for these and i don't know i just don't like love the formula i haven't tried them all though and i will I want to do reviews on these so let me know with this vault and the Jaclyn Hill vault do you guys want to see like individual reviews on each palette or would you like to see just like one big review and then I could just say like in which order like which one's my favorite which one's my least favorite and kind of give you guys like one big review on those vaults so yeah let me know but yeah both those vault collections I picked up I was kind of disappointed in but thus is life now this palette, hi Teddy, you want to come up here? Come on. Whoa. Okay, attention seeker is also here. Okay. So this palette, okay, when I first got it, I was like, oh, I don't actually really love any of the purples in this palette. So yeah, Celestial and Wild Child is like more of a pink so I think this is a neutral palette with a pop of purple is how I would personally describe it. But here's the thing guys, you can say what you want about, oh god, Teddy just licked my Sydney Grace, Sydney Grace eyeshadow. I hope he, he doesn't turn green. Are you okay? He's such a weirdo. Anyway, okay, so say what you want about this palette and the color scheme and how boring it is. But these shadows, it's like every time I try an ABH palette and it's their formula that we all know and love 
oh my gosh, I'm like in heaven. They're so easy to use. I just am obsessed and I'm so glad I bought this. Again, I want to review this and I also own the Soft Glam palette so I never reviewed that for you guys. Then I kind of want to do a battle of Norvina, Soft Glam, and the original, the Modern Renaissance. So let me know if you guys will be interested in something like that. I feel like I've definitely tested out the Norvina palette so I'm ready to film a review on it. I just haven't made the time and like I said, I just kind of wanted to get all the haul videos out of the way so I could just put all my makeup in its spot and you know review stuff for you guys so this is a launch i was very very apprehensive about as well because i love the brand color grain it's one of my favorite indie brands and they have been doing some weird stuff so i feel like a lot of the time they make these launches they create hype they price their products way too high and then within like weeks of launching the product they drop the prices which was really irritating for me as a consumer because I like to buy things as soon as they come out obviously I'm on YouTube like I want to review these things for people and for myself I'm just naturally curious about makeup so when they were talking about these pigments I was like oh my god you know 45 bucks but then if you buy them individually they're like a hundred something dollars it already feels like a scam and I was just like so conflicted because I'm like, what if they're bad? Like they're little mini palettes. The ones that came out with the six pans, those were so pricey and now they're on sale for like half off half the time. And I'm the one that did like the pre-order, paid way too much money for them. Same with the Cheers to Beauty palette. I think like a couple of weeks ago, you could get Cheers to Beauty for like 20 bucks. So it's just very frustrating how they price their stuff because they are an indie brand and it feels like they haven't quite like figured out their pricing strategies. Anyway, they decided to do these like super pigmented little like mattes and they did a bundle which was like 45 bucks so I, I resisted the first round and then I was just too curious so I bought the bundle which was great because I bought it before it sold out and it came and I haven't dipped into any of these except the two greens because green is my favorite color. I really enjoyed the eye look I created with the two greens and then I have some of their other singles just from their regular lineup. So I wanted to fill this palette, so I just added some shades that would complement the pigments. So I added like these three greens. This was part of the pigment pack. These are all shades that were pre-existing. So is this color, and then this blue was pre-existing, and this orange. But everything else, I think there were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 the shades that came in that set. So. I don't know there were a lot of like repeat shades like these purples I don't know necessarily that we need every single one of these purples to create an eye look but I'm so excited for like this bright pink shade this yellow I haven't dipped into any of this stuff so if you guys want to see a review or a swatch party or a makeup tutorial or whatever you want to see let me know I am excited the green ones work really well so I'm hoping like all the shades are awesome and pigmented Going back to ColourPop, I did buy, oh, this is when I placed that order with the Red Lippy. I was buying that Red Lippy because I wanted to buy the Zodiac palette. And honestly, you guys, this is one of the first ColourPop palettes that has actually disappointed me. I am not a fan of this palette. I feel like the formula isn't done as well as the formula we know and love from them. This shade, I was so disappointed in. Like, yeah, when you swatch it, it looks opaque. But when you try to get it on your lid, it's actually quite difficult to get to full opacity. I think you probably have to foil this to make it look nice and bright. I don't know. It was just kind of underwhelming. And honestly, I feel like after that last ColourPop purchase, I'm kind of over it. Which I never thought I would be because I'm like the first one to advocate for them. Saying like, you know what? They're just trying to keep up with the trends and what people want and all that stuff. But I've come to that point where I'm exhausted. And I, I'm hoping that I don't keep wanting to buy from them. I recently did a video showing you every single one of my ColourPop palettes and I've bought all of them. Ever since they started doing eyeshadow palettes, I've bought them all. And honestly, when you see it in the video, you can see how many of them are very repetitive. Like same shades, purples, burgundies, browns, burgundies, browns, burgundies, browns. So it's like, oh my gosh, Karen, like at this point, you're just wasting your money just because you're buying the same regurgitated palette they just slap on some cute packaging and you know they sell it to me so I'm done for a while 
unless they come out with something truly revolutionary i won't be buying any more from them but i've always been curious about their bronzer so i bought this shade which is called rodeo drive or rodeo drive sorry <laughs> And this is really a nice bronzer. As you can see, I've made a little bit of a dent in it and I haven't had it for very long. And it's just in one of these little Tarte palettes because I couldn't find something to put it in. And I wasn't going to pay an extra dollar just to get it in a compact. So my cheap ass is just going to leave it in there. Another thing I am so pumped about that I purchased is the Super Beauty Block Party Palette. This packaging is insane. I honestly didn't want to buy this palette because it honestly scares the living crap out of me. It's one of those palettes that if you're like really good at color theory, you're really going to be like challenged by this. But luckily I follow the founder of Suva Beauty on Instagram and she has been doing a really great job of doing looks with this palette, which I find really helpful. And honestly, I wish brands would kind of slow their roll and spend more time giving people ideas on how to use all these palettes they're creating. Obviously, you know, the more product they come out with, the more money they're making. So they're not really concerned about the artistry of what they're doing. They're just concerned about next palette, next palette. How can we make more money? How can we make more money? You can really see that. And it's really, really sad. I actually, Shaz or something, shoot, I can't, I'm totally blanking on her name, but she's actually Fijian Indian and so she has a killer Indian impersonation and Suva is the capital I believe of Fiji or something to do with Fiji in the name Suva and so I relate to her so much because she is an immigrant and she has like she's such a boss lady and she used to be a foreign correspondent and she has this great personality. I would totally recommend following Suva Beauty on Instagram as well as the founder because she's just so, like her personality is so much like mine. She's very laid back, so funny. Her wardrobe is nothing like mine though because she's so into color and I love her quirky outfits and I wish I could pull off all of her looks, but she's really cool. I just wrote like a love letter to this lady, but yeah, I just love the cool stuff she does. With this palette, she mixes shades, she makes new colors. She really like pimps her palette out and I told her that one day when I was talking to her, I was like, Thank you so much for doing all these tutorials. They really helped me, you know, envision new looks and try new things. And she's like, oh, thank you. That's so good to know. And I was like, yeah, I was like, I honestly feel like brands come out with so much stuff. They don't spend any time like educating consumers on what to do with these palettes. And I want to keep supporting Suva because they are person of color owned, immigrant owned, Canadian company, indie brand, you know, all about the artistry just something that really you know hits home to me because she's a like indian immigrant type personality so it's just very cool very interesting brand and yeah she's just really cool and they're not like overly big to the point where she doesn't have time to like get back to people which i love because anytime somebody takes the time to respond to me on instagram i'm just like oh like that's so nice like i'm literally nobody so I bought that and then I bought more of their hydro liners. I really like you guys. I told you I'm really into colored eyeliner all of a sudden. And these ones are so cool because they're water activated. So you can basically use them for like face paint too. So they came out with so many cute new colors and they had a sale where you bought um, buy one get one free or something. So I bought as many colors as I could. So I'm excited to do some cool stuff with this. I'm going to post pictures of things that you can find, like people have created, on Suva's Instagram because some of these are also like um, glow in the dark as well. So I just, you know, I wanted to get creative and try these out. So I have the shade Seenim, which is a beautiful blue. This is from the Block Party collection. This shade is called Freezy. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And then I've got Fanny Pack, which is a UV one. Um, we've got uh, Acid Trip, with the, which is the orange. I've got uh, Blue Steel, which is a like a shiny blue. Um, I bought White Space Panda because you can mix that with other colors and make fun colors. And then I got Dance Party and Scrunchy, which are also UV. And I believe they stopped making Scrunchy, which a lot of people are kind of bummed about, but I'm glad I got my hands on it. Now, another collection I bought more things from, you guys, if you see my house, I have a huge banana leaf plant in my living room. Our bedroom is palm tree leaf themed. So I have a green accent wall with like palm prints in the background and 
I really wanted to stay away from this collection because I don't really agree with the dose of colors eyeshadow formula. Um, I do like the highlight I picked up from the Desi and Katie collab, so I figured I'd buy the highlighters. And I was kind of curious about this pink one, but now that I have it, I've never like found a reason to put it on my cheek. So I'm going to try and work that into a look, but I have a Soulmate, and then this one is a Bath or Bathe. I don't know. It's just beautiful. So there's a pink one and a gold one, and I bought both because I'm excessive like that. And then this was the kicker. I was, like I said, I wasn't going to buy anything from this collection. And then I watched Stephanie Nicole's video and she said the most important thing that I needed to hear that this eyeshadow palette was not the same formula as the palette from the Desi X Katie line. I hated that palette. It was the worst palette ever. So as soon as she said that I was like okay I can get on board with this and honestly I'm actually really in love with this palette. You can create so many different looks. You can do neutrals, um, a fun pop of blue, you can do a really nice smoky eye with this. Again, I have not played with this enough, but I'm so excited to do a review, tutorials, and things like that. Oh my god, it's actually a really good palette, and I'm so glad I picked it up. So if you guys have been eyeing it, I would recommend buying it before it sells out. I also picked up the Sugar Fresh, uh, or Fresh Sugar Lemon Hydrating Lip Balm. It's already in my drawer here, so I bought the coconut one um, when it first came out, and then I believe they did Lemon. Um, the coconut one is really nice. It has a light coconut fragrance. The lemon one, you really honestly cannot smell anything. So, I don't know. If that's the reason you're buying it, I wouldn't really recommend it. I would just go with the coconut one. The lemon one is very, very subtle and I wasn't very impressed with it. I also wanted to try out one of these blushes from Too Faced. This is a fruit cocktail blush duo in Cherry Bomb. These were really hard to buy online because it's just so hard to think of what the colors will look like on your skin. I feel like these would be very intimidating for somebody with lighter skin. I did see Andrea Matigliano's review of this entire collection and I thought she was spot on with most of the things she said, especially about the foundation, which I actually also bought. But I'm not loving this. I have to keep trying it, but I don't know. I feel like is it a like it hasn't made up its mind. I I can't use it as a highlighter. I feel like it's more glitter than anything else. So Kind of on the fence about it. It does have a very strong watermelony scent. I only bought one. I really like the freaking packaging of these. There's like a little lip here. It makes it really easy to open. It's a very nice packaging. But yeah, the blush isn't my favorite. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about it. And then like I said, I did buy the foundation. This is the Do You Full Coverage Fresh Glow Foundation infused with juicy watermelon and fresh cucumber. I believe this does have a really strong scent to it as well. Everyone wants a dewy full coverage foundation. That thing is like a unicorn. Like finding a full coverage dewy foundation, if anybody makes that formula, they're going to get rich like real quick. So yeah, I bought it. I don't love it, but I've only worn it on my face one time and I felt like it didn't stay. It moved around and then if you set it, it's going to become more matte. But I'm happy I bought it and I will test it out some more and keep you guys posted on if I liked it or if I returned it or what I'm going to do. Okay, here is the blush that I actually broke into from Juvia's Place. This is the darker shade. It is the shade Bella. So basically, Spooky Lips and Fat Hips sold me on these blushes, or at least made me want to try them, because she's like, oh my god, they're so beautiful. And so I was like, okay, Lacey, thanks a lot. Like, thank you. Um, but I love supporting Juvia's, because again, they are a black-owned makeup brand, and they are an indie brand. They're now sold at Ulta, which is where I bought those from, but... Before that, I've, all my Juvia's Place purchases were from their site. So they're a good company. If you guys want to explore, I would totally recommend. Well, and then the last thing I wanted to show you guys that I did buy this month is the NARS, what is this called? Atomic Blonde Palette. I don't really know why it's called the Atomic Blonde Palette, but it is an eye and cheek palette. I honestly bought it for this bronzer. I love NARS's face products, and actually the eyeshadows aren't terrible either. There's two satins and then like a more glittery shade and I think you could probably find some decent reviews on this on um, YouTube as well. But if you're into neutrals and you want like a good, you know, face and uh, eye palette, it's like this is pretty awesome. I don't know. I feel like NARS palettes are definitely hit or miss. 
sometimes they're really, really good, and sometimes you're like, oh my god, that's garbage. Teddy is now eating one of my makeup packages. Hey! Unreal. So, yeah, and this packaging is so gorgeous. So, I'm excited, and I'm excited to see their new holiday stuff, too. Oh my gosh, they've got some good stuff. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. I'm going to stop blabbering now because I feel like I've been talking to you guys for like a million years. So, thank you for watching these videos again. I will put haul one and two in the end of this video. You guys can check it out. Let me know how you like hauls and yeah, just leave me a comment because I love talking to my friends on YouTube in my comment section. Oh my God, it is so lit down there, you guys. <laughs> anyway, I will see you soon. Bye.